you guys welcome back to my channel and yes I am dressed and cosplaying like Carly Carly no Harley Quinn for tonight because I'm going to be going to see Suicide Squad ah, I am super excited I just I don't know I don't really like watch those kind of movies or anything but this looks so good and I've been like ready I'm so ready and yeah, going with a big group of friends and family tonight, and I'm so ready. I'm just doing a test run. Ew. Doing a test run on my makeup, so I know if this will work for tonight. I don't know. Don't know about you guys, but I really like it. It's a little hard right here. It's my favorite. It took me three freaking tries, and it sucked. And I had to keep taking it off, then I had to fix the white foundation, because I was like smearing black all over my face. But yeah, so today for a video, now that I'm done rambling about my Harley Quinn costume, um, today's video I'm actually going to be doing a movie review, so kind of perfect that I'm dressed for a movie. I'm not reviewing this movie, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do a, um, yeah, okay, so I've been going to theater a lot more lately because it's summer and movies are cheap on Tuesdays here, they're only $5, and... Yeah, so let's see. What have I gone to see? Um, oh my god, I went to see Ghostbusters. I don't know how I feel about that. That might even be this review. I don't know yet. Um, I went to see Nerve. That was so good. Oh my god, I was like mind blown. And I went to see Lights Out. Um, I think I'm going to do the Lights Out review first actually because it's still like light outside and I'm not going to get freaked out trying to film it. Yeah. My cat's making noises at me. Um, okay, so lights out. Um, all summer. Okay, so like my Uncle Terry and I, our thing is horror movies, like all the time. I love them. I scream like a little five year old girl whenever I go to see them because they freak me out. But it's fine to be scared sometimes, you know? And yeah, so this was like, there were like two movies, two like horror movies that I was super pumped for for this summer. And it was The Conjuring 2. That way, like way surpassed my expectations. Like, wow. I might even do a mu movie, movie, a movie review of that one eventually. But that one was really good. And then the other one was Lights Out, which I went to see, I think like two days ago now. And uh, I don't know, that one was kind of weird. I don't really know how to describe it. Like, it didn't feel like a horror movie. And, I don't know. Like, for me, for a horror movie, there's, like, a couple of things that I really, like, want to see. You know, I want to see... God, what the heck? What are you doing? Ugh. Um, a couple things that I want to see. One, I don't want to see, like, the terrible, terrible horror movie cliches. Like, I um, don't... You, you guys know what I'm talking about, though. How they're just, like, they act so stupid... Like, there's this one part in the movie where they're all staying at, like, the mom's house. Oh, yeah, I should have mentioned spoilers in this because I, I talk a lot. So, they're, like, all staying at, like, the mom's house and the little brother's all, like, getting in bed, you know, and the sister's like, do you want your door opened or closed? Like, why aren't you all staying together in the same room when there's a creepy a whatever demon thing after you? Like, what? And the little brother's like, I want the door closed. And and they close the door and it's like you all are gonna die like okay they, they don't die but it seems like they're going to for a while because they're making stupid decisions I'm just like ah. I want to like scream at them um another thing too is that like for horror movies like I like when the idea or concept will like stay with me and like freak me out for a while afterwards because then it's like then I know and know that it was like a really effective movie because like I'm still thinking about it like two days later and with what the freak stop making noises freaking me out <laughs> but um definitely with this one like the last like two nights whenever I've gone to bed I've like huddled with my phone like <laughs> And, like, listen to, like, Disney mu- Tiger. Tiger. I'm trying to- Get down! I'm trying to- Listen to- Stop. Stop. Listening to Disney music, trying to, like, calm- Stop. Go, go that way. God. 
Okay, sorry about that, my cat is crazy. But yeah, so this one definitely freaked me out. Uh, there were terrible horror movie cliches, I gotta say, and I feel like they just really kept reusing the same material like over and over. Like, yes, we get it, like, turn the lights on, it's not there, lights off, holy frick, what is that? Like, <laughs> we get it, you don't have to like keep replaying the same thing, like there's gotta be like something a little bit different that you can do each time. Or, although, although, okay, there was one different thing that I really, really liked was when the cops were at the house towards the end of the movie, and... Tiger, what the frick are you doing? And, um, the one cop, like, tries to shoot her, and she says something like, oh, you know, like, that can't hurt me. And then, like, he's, like, firing off, like, a ton of rounds, and, you know, like, when you, like, fire, there's, like, the flash. So, like, it like, just looks like, so cool, because it's, like, flashing, so she's, like, there, not there, there, not there. And then she, like, attacks him, and that was, like, the sickest part of the whole movie. I thought it was so cool. And definitely, like, an interesting take on, like, the light versus dark thing because you know you'd usually think like flashlight on can't see her flashlight off she's there but like you wouldn't think like firing like from a gun would be enough light to make her disappear but that was super cool I was surprised at that and I don't know this just it really didn't feel like a horror movie to me it felt like you know if they got rid of creepy demon night dark girl thing then it's would have just been like a really really over dramatic movie because this family's already got like enough problems going on like the dad was killed the mom is going insane not taking her meds the sister had moved out played by Teresa Palmer I think she's off doing like whatever she's doing I don't even know it's never even like specified if she has like a job or if she's in school she's just out of the house and there's like a little brother who's still probably in like elementary maybe middle school and yeah, so, like, this family's already got, like, enough stuff, like, going on without, like, creepy demon girl making their, making her way back into their lives, and, yeah, and, like, the ending, I, I legit, I'm not even ashamed to admit, I cried, <laughs> I cried at the ending of this movie because, and, okay, I know I warned about spoilers, like, a little bit ago, but I'm gonna warn you one more time because I'm about to say what happens at the end and how they get rid of demon girl, <laughs> so, Okay, so here's, you've been warned, here's your chance to leave if you don't want to see any spoilers, but, um, the ending, oh my gosh, the demon girl, she's about to attack Teresa Palmer, so Maria Bello, who plays the mother, comes in, you know, and she's like, I told you not to hurt my kids, and, like, the demon girl just kind of, like, turns and, like, looks at her, and then... Um, like, Maria Bella, like, fires at her with, like, a gun, and she's all like, oh, that can't hurt me, and she's like, no, but this can, she, like, puts it to her freaking head, and she's like, there's no you without me, and the mom kills herself. What? Like, oh, like, what are you doing to me, directors? Like, okay, for once in a horror movie, these characters have, like, a solid backstory, and you learn about them, and you start to love them, and you feel like you're part of this insanely messed up dysfunctional family, and then all of a sudden she just, like, kills herself, and the demon thing is gone. And they're all, like, good to go home, and it's like, what? What? <laughs> I wasn't, okay, I went into this horror movie... I was like, I don't know, I'd heard good things about it, I'd heard bad things about it. I was trying to keep an open mind, so I went, and I was like, I'm ready, this is gonna freak me out, I'm probably gonna scream a lot. I think throughout the entire movie I screamed, like, once. And it was a jump scare, and it wasn't even, like, legit, like, something scary happened, it was just because it, like, came out of nowhere. But, yeah, so, scare factor, um, like, in the moment... It wasn't super freaky, but then, like, afterwards, like, thinking about, like, the, the concept of it is really creepy. Um, ending, I was not very satisfied because I, you know, like, I go into a horror movie expecting to be scared and expecting to, like, scream at stuff that, you know, freaks me out when it, like, pops up in the movie. I was not expecting to cry. <laughs> not expecting to cry at the ending. Um, so, yeah. I guess if I had to rate this on a scale of like 1 to 10 and 1 being like the worst possible score it could have, like 1 being like the Percy Jackson movie and 10 being like Deadpool, I would probably put Lights Out at like a 7.
just because like it was good the concept stayed with me uh, the acting was amazing oh my gosh these actors were great I like I really like every little thing like I could just like totally like feel and see everything that they were going through um but ending I was not very satisfied with that just kind of was like uh, you know kind of cringy um and yeah and I just I feel like because this movie was like so short it was it wasn't even like an hour and a half or something like that it was like a little shorter than that so it's like you know, you know like, I was expecting like more of a movie I guess and with this one they like went a lot into like the backstory of like how like the demon girl got to be a demon girl but then I feel like too they kind of like skipped some stuff like they focus a lot on like how the demon girl originally like died and they give a lot of her backstory and how she was like friends with the mom and their whole friendship and stuff but then like all of a sudden demon girl like pops back up into their lives like why this moment like how long has this been going on how did she get back has she been here the whole time like I just I have a lot of questions and I feel like they didn't really do a good job of connecting from when the girl died up through when the mom got older and like had her kids and everything and then how demon girl is suddenly back right now so yeah just I, I don't know some like gaps in the story that I really wish that the filmmakers would have like filled in and like I know that this used it, okay well this started out on YouTube actually and it was just like a short film only like a couple minutes and then the director of that was the director of this movie and he just made it into like a lengthened with more story sort of thing and yeah I feel like all of like the horror like jump scary things were basically the short film just reimagined a little bit so creativity was not great of this movie but yes we're gonna go with a solid seven for lights out okay and lights